this thing here. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, so today I'm gonna show a sequence uh, that I, I like uh, to do a lot. I really rate. It's like from my from a close guard, you know. So that uh, that includes a little bit of a different situation from the lapel choke. Okay, that's very strong hold that you can control the posture, you know, of the opponent, and then you can start fighting from the posture uh, down. Because what happens is like if you one thing that I develop and I like to do is like fighting with the guys when they have the posture down, because I know that if I pass through all his counters and all his defense and I can attack some submissions, I know that he won't be able to posture up and defend. If you see the most of the common situation that you have when you attack an arm bar, a triangle, a normal plata, or a choke, is a guy posturing up from the guard and he defends. So this would be like the very common and uh, the very basic thing that you need to block before you do anything. So if you block that beforehand and you keep passing through all the defense, you know that in the end you're gonna be able to catch it. Okay? So for example, I'm here, okay, and I will try to break his posture. I have a lot of ways of different ways of attack. For example, I can like hit here and pull him down and control, you know, if he has a good base, I can control here, pull him down and break the posture. Once I break his posture, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep him low, his low all the time. So I like to grip here, push his head down, don't let him push it back at all times. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take it off this lapel from the outside. Like if, if he doesn't let me do it, I just want to open it a bit. I'm going to pull that. It doesn't need to be on the rush. Just need to take it easy as long as I have the, the lapel on top. No, in control. Once I have the lapel, okay, I will push it tight and the grab is very deep and it's still controlling the posture. Okay. Next step now, I'll push him away and get with the palm up and I get the lapel very tight and deep. Okay. What I want to do from here is control it very down, very, very, very tight here, and I will put my left leg on the hips. But make sure that when I control the triceps, I stop him bringing the, the arm here because if I do that and he pushes, and then I lose everything. Okay, so what I like to do from here is like keep the, the triceps under control, my elbow down here very tight, and then when I put over here, it's hard for him to pull back the arm. So I try to put the back up here so I don't let it. Now, a little trick that I use a lot, I will do like a little big punch with my left, with my right hand towards the ceiling, bringing his head to the other side because what I want, I want to choke him out. So if he put the head down over here, it's very hard for me to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kick him with my leg, and I will punch with my, with my hand, make sure that I turn my wrist to make my forearm get very deep on his neck. So I'm going to do like a punch, like that. So it's very hard for him to counter that. Once he's on this side, I have a really good position that I can grab the pocket grip by the color lapel that I already made it. And I'm going to squeeze down, and I'll pull the arm, okay? On this case, that is the arm that chokes. Not this. Sometimes it, the guy put the head down and then I can just put over the, the jaw. As long as I pull down and I hold, that's what I'm going to count. Of course, if you manage to put inside this and then lock down, it's going to be even better. So this is a very good grip, very solid because I can grab all the way around it and then this makes much solid uh, choke from, uh, from the guard. Okay? So this is the position number one. Okay, so now I will try the same thing, okay, I control, boom, and now, now we're going to deal with different situations. For example, when I push him away, I go here, alright, now the guy stopping my arm to go for the choke, so he's going to stop here, look, I can't choke him because he's blocking my arm, so I cannot get that. Even if I do that, I can't go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little trick that make it my, bring in the arm to the other side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pinch his wrist, okay, I'll lock it, I'm going to put the hand on the, floor, the foot on the floor, on the hip, sorry, and I will turn my upper body with me, like making like a wrist lock here, okay, that brings me the arm, so like that, I will turn around and I'll take it, the arm, I can choke him down here with my left hand, or I can bridge up and go for the armor. I'm going to repeat again, it's very important that once I go, I use this and I turn my upper body to bring his arm. Otherwise, if I don't turn, I just want to get stuck. So I need to turn to be able to release the pressure. 
okay so I cannot go for the choke okay I'll control here go put the foot to the hips and I'll shoot here with my left and I'll turn up my upper body here one and two and I have the choke or the armbar to the submission okay The third thing, with the same situation, I managed to catch, okay? Now I push him away, and he has a uh, defend underneath over here for me that I cannot get the choke, I cannot get the, the, the armbar, okay? So I have a good position here to attack the back. What I can do here, look at the control the triceps here, I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, escape in the hips, hide the elbow and pull him down with the lapel. Like that, I already have a good position to take the back, okay? I can even try to get the same lapel with the arm that goes underneath, okay? And I start already pulling the triceps and then choke out here, okay? This is a good situation that you can have as well. The other one that I like very much, it is when the guy, when I get here, and the guy hide, hugs me down, and they try to be tight to me. So I cannot go to the back, I cannot choke him, and I cannot get the armbar. So what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna be very tight, and I'm gonna to, to use my right hand as a bar on his neck, and I'm gonna put the left foot on the hips, and I'm going to shrimp out like that, like snake out the way, and I'll bring my knee inside. When I bring the knee inside, I stop him moving the posture. So now I can like arch back. When I arch, I will make sure that his arm bends to the side. Like that, I can push it over, okay? I can keep pushing, 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 pushing the taps. I could even push, 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 push up to here. And if you do that, you can bring the arm back home. But you don't do that, okay? Big set. You need to preserve your part. Okay? Other thing that you can do as well, if you put a lot of pressure, the guy doesn't want to tap, doesn't want to tap, you just get something short, go just go for the wrist lock, boom, and then he will tap straight away. Okay, so that's uh, some situations that happen very often.